हेलो एवरी वन टूडे विल स्टडी द मेंटेनेंस ऑफ लेबोरेटरी एनिमल एज पर द सी पी सी ए गाइडलाइन बाय प्रोफेसर सबा शेख सो फर्स्ट विल स्टडी द बैकग्राउंड सो द कमेटी फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ कंट्रोल एंड सुपरविजन ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट्स ऑन एनिमल वॉज कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट अंडर द सेक्शन फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी ऑन द of the prevention of cruelty to animal act 1960 in the year 1996 so basically this is the committee that is nothing but cpc that the full form of cpc is committee for the purpose of control and supervision of experiment on animal the guidelines of cpca were implemented in the year 1998 so cpca committee have formulated some guideline that were implemented in 1998 focus of the letter guideline was to control and supervise the experiment on animal that are used in biomedical institution veterinary research institute and the research laboratory for education and research purpose basically this cpc uses the four r concept these include first one is replacement so replacement refers to the technologies or approaches which directly replaces or avoid the use of animal in experiments second one is reduction refers to the method that minimize the number of animals used per experiment or study third refinement refers to the methods that minimize the pain suffering distress or lasting harm that may be experienced by the research animals and the last one is rehabilitation so rehabilitation of experimented animal to promote the human care of affected animals now we'll see the ethical principles adopted by cpca so principle 1 so basically there are five principle that is adopted by cpca committee the first one is experiment on animal including experiment involving operation on animal whatever the experiment that involve the operation on animal may be carried out for the purpose of advancement by new discovery of physiological knowledge or of knowledge which is expected to be useful for saving or prolonging the human life or for the significant gain in the well-being of the people of the country or combating any disease whether human being animals or plant so in in short the principal one uh, the principal one depends on that uh, we should use the animal only when the purpose of the experiment is the advancement of new discovery of physiological knowledge or the knowledge which is expected to be useful for saving the human life or prolonging the human life or con or combating any type of disease on human being animals or plant now the second principle animal lowest in phylogenetic scale that is the least degree of sentience sentience means the feeling of pain which may give scientifically valid result should be used for any experimental procedure so the animal which is lowest in the phylogenetic scale should be used experiment should be designed with a minimum number of animals to give statistically valid result at 95% at uh, 95% level of confidence so always use the animal with a minimum number in such a way that you will get a very valid result alternative not involving animal testing should be given due and full consideration and sound justification provided if the alternative is available and if you are not using that alternative then principle 3 proper use of animal in experiment and avoidance or minimization when avoidance is not possible of pain suffering inflicted on experimental animal should be issue of priority of research personnel so it is the responsibility of the research personnel to see ke how much pain or suffering uh, will uh, will the animal get and unless contrary is a scientifically established investigator should process on the basis that procedure that cause pain or suffering in human being will also cause a pain or suffering in case of the animal so it is the responsibility of the research personnel to always use the experiment which are less invasive or which cause less pain or suffering in case of the animal 
ऑल साइंटिफिक प्रोसीजर एडॉप्टेड विथ एनिमल में दैट मे कॉज मोर देन मोमेंट्री और स्लाइटली पेन और सफरिंग शुड बी परफॉर्म विथ अप्रोप्रिएट सीडेशन एनालजेसिया or anesthesia so it is very much important to give the anesthesia to the animal if the pain is uh, on the higher side then principle 4 person engaged in animal experimentation have the moral responsibility for the welfare of animals after their use in experiment investigator are responsible for the after care and or rehabilitation of animals after experimentation so it is the full responsibility of the investigator to give the after care facility to the animal once the experiment is over and may be permitted to euthanize animal only in following situation so in following situation only we can sacrifice the animal so what is the situation the situation one when the animal is paralyzed experimental procedure at the animal has been left with a severe recurring pain and if the animal is threatening to human being then in such case we should sacrifice the animal the last principle five the living condition of animal should be appropriate for the species and contribute to their health and comfort the housing feeding and care of all animal used for biomedical purposes must be directed by the veterinarian or other scientists in a relevant discipline who is trained and experienced in a proper care handling and the use of species being maintained or studied so it is very much important to have the veterinary doctor visit whenever the study is going on in all circumstances uh, circumstances veterinary care shall be provided as necessary so these are the all five principle this is the table which indicates the minimum floor area recommended for the laboratory animal based on the weight size and behavioral activity like for example uh, here the animal like mouse rat hamster guinea pig so based on the different types of weight in gram the floor area is given in centimeter square and the height of the cage in centimeter is also mentioned by the cpca committee similarly in case of the rabbit based on the weight the recommendation is given for the floor area this is the recommended space for the cats dogs and bird so similarly in case of the cat dog pigeon and chicken the weight in kg per square the floor area is mentioned here and the height in inches the cage of the height is also mentioned here then the last part is the specification for transport of laboratory animal by road rail and air so be, so suppose if the, uh, there are different animal like mouse rat hamster guinea pig rabbit cat dog primates so in case of the mouse suppose the maximum number of animal per cage should be 25 and the material used in transport boxes either metal cardboard synthetic material and space per animal centimeter square it should be 20 to 25 cm square and the minimum height of the box should be 12 cm so these are the specification that is given by the committee in order to transport the animal from one facility to uh, the research center where the where will be the research, where will conduct the research so this is all about the maintenance of laboratory uh, laboratory animal as per the cpca guideline thank you